put me here for a reason You have a mission for me You knew my name and you called it Long before I learned to breathe Sometimes I feel disappointed Spend my time How can I further your kingdom When I'm so wrapped up in mine Oh, 
This is the medical room. This is the medic. The medic for the hospital. Struck by the way it's consumed me, and I embrace the sea. I love the magic that I get to be back on it. Don't be back there, don't be back there, don't be back there, don't be back there. Go, don't mama. So I want to give them my testimony, testimony a little bit before I can believe in Jesus Christ. I'm trying to get my two legs out. I'm trying to get my two legs out. So that kind of the, all the difficulty sicknesses on man cannot be seen. Some are too clear, yeah, baby, maybe you can't get it for 50 days, you can't get it, you can't get it. That's part of the matter, you can't get it, you can't get it. So the Jesus is the only one who can see me and he can see me. You know, every level of that game, I touch the whole of your mouth. So now wherever I go, I don't need to do all these things. Amen. That's what they said on is a tire and a bag. Thomas is grabbing it. You glory goes on. He wished. It's never gonna fade away. It keeps going on and on and on and on. Forever will your glory reign. It's a natural, but they will like a, I mean, take a, like a generator. So this is a, I mean, like a vegetable. You know. And then tradition. Long for your embrace.
embrace. So I asked, how can we pray? And he asked to pray for help and peaceful life. I'm going to pray. See you face to face. Will you show me? Reveal yourself to me. That day you guys went walking to see the Pujai. Um, I didn't really know where he was, whether he's on this side or that side. But I heard he'd moved all the way over. I didn't know what he physically was. I didn't know he doesn't come. He didn't even come back now. I didn't know at that time. So Ilya had contacted the Pujai, who's the spiritual leader of the super vegetarian faction, which is now lives in Burma under the protection of DKBA, next to the Burma army. So, very complicated. And <clears throat> he said we could come. The Burma army, the DKBA, the KNU all fight against each other in turn. <coughs> but we operated with all three of them, which is, I think, the only way I could understand it is God helped us do something. It's very complicated. So they said, you can go. So we loaded up the two trucks <coughs> and a little tech, 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 tractor with, with the DKBA troops. And I was amazed that, you know, shake hands with DKB, a soldier, people who've tried to kill us before, and a traitor, basically. And I remember, it was interesting, when I looked at him in the eye, he, he wouldn't look me in the eye. Uh, I've had this, I've actually met DKB once before, I had the same experience. And I even told the guy I met, who was a Christian, I said, how can you wear that patch? He says, Democratic Karen Buddhist Army. Aren't you afraid of God? You call yourself a Buddhist Army man? Don't worry about politics. God cares about that stuff. And he just looked down, and he goes, basically, what can a man do when he's weak? what he said. We all loaded up, we crossed the river, went to the holy place, which is the craziest thing was, as you all know, we drive there, and before we go over the bridge, you can't go in with shoes on. <laughs> Crazy. So here we are with our little, like, evacuation plan, we're barefoot, in the most dangerous place. Really crazy. But they didn't make the cars take the tires off, you know. The cars can <laughs> still drive. And then everybody had guns. So it's the holy of holies, you could just wear no shoes, but you could have a gun. And then there's three Burma army soldiers there. Two troops and a with rifles and an officer and his pistol's kind of half hidden here. So we saw them and they were told right then, hey, these guys are coming in. And that they didn't like that, but they didn't know what to do because there's only three. And there's more of them at the camp. But they had this political arrangement, which is temporary, but the DKBA said this is your area. But they never believed they'd bring us in. It's kind of a loophole, like, whoa, 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 that's not in the contract. But they can't really arrest us. First, like we all said, we're not gonna surrender anyways. But even if they tried to take us by force, he came here to fight. Is it worth it? But it's one of those things, I don't know if you noticed, Ilya, a Gary 15 minutes looking at his watch. If you wait long enough, they'll get a battalion down this road and block us. And they'll do, they will do something. So we don't have much time. So then Dogwood Cross played a great, great concert for the Pujais. We looked very unhappy, actually. Not because of your concert, but because he just picked a lousy place to put himself in life, I felt like. And there's this baking hot commune of weird rules. Anyways, they, it looked like a weird place, a sad place. But your music was great, and it was appreciated. And then the, eventually the way the girls sang and danced, the monkeys got thrown in the air, and um, good entertainment. But before I went to talk to Burma Army, I just thought, why does he have a gun in this holy place? And I, I wanted to convey a lot of messages. One is, we all know you have this. We're coming in peace, but if you're going to do something, I'm going to have it for you. That's what I'd really... You know, man, if you want to do something, I'm going to end up with this thing, not you. So don't think this will protect you. That's what I, I really want to say that. Don't think you're going to bully us around or, you know. I love, my, my favorite quote of the day was from Sam, who said, I may have forgot how to run, but I haven't forgotten how to fight. That was like, <laughs> I, I had this middle image of these three tiny Burmese soldiers flying through the air. And like this, <laughs> with the the bear going. <laughs> I really did. Well, they knew that, too. They're like. I weigh like 90 pounds, I'm looking at these huge people. <laughs> but um, we obviously did not come there to fight, but to be friends and just take the opportunity God gave us. We said a prayer, had a good full service, drove out of there, got our shoes back on, drove across the river, and then came back to the Thai side. Of your mercy, I fall down on my knees and I can feel
I said that all the, it's like a zoo, all the foreigners want to see the Quran. I say it's payback, man, because every time we go to your village, you can't even take a bath alone. You can't even go to the bathroom alone. You guys follow us all around. <laughs> no way. So, start up over there. <laughs> so, this is Trapado Sakapo. Pitinya, Kobobana. Oh, yeah, we have to go on. Sakapo is a pastor. He's also one of the team leaders for this area, which is a very difficult area. He's also responsible for this IDP site. So, he's an FBR team leader for a very big area. It's plenty of enemies. And he is also the pastor this area and he's also in charge of this IP site. So he's been three different hats. He's got a family in Nopo refugee camp and he's been captured once by the Burma army, tortured and for many months and then released and then captured once by the DKBA, faction joint and got out of that also and then right back to work. So we're really looking for a la oh, landmine, we're looking for a landmine. Missing arm, hold it. The Diva. Then come to help you. That is Jesus. Call his name. He will help you. Forgive you your sins. Lift you up. Lead you on. Look.
She turns and walks away. What a shame. Oh, yeah. Just across the street in your hometown. Leaving from his name to find. Is he now?
proclaim 